guys, Roto Deal here and today we are with the Atop XT1 and this guy actually has an augmented reality game. We are going to check that out and try it here, fly it and see what we think about it. Let's start with the unboxing and then continue on with the flight. Hello guys, Rotodil here and today I'm with the Atop XT1. This is basically a quadcopter that uh, is a Mavic replica, another Mavic replica. I've done many of those and we are looking at the quadcopter with all the stuff that comes with the box. I'll just go everything and then we'll go out for a flight. This is basically the on-off switch and uh, we do get this quadcopter with a 2 megapixel camera that's over here. You can tilt the camera by using your finger as you can see now. Um, Basically, I recommend whenever you're using these toy quadcopters, just get the camera tilted as up as you can to get the best view of horizon. And also, this is a wide-angle 2 megapixel camera. The quadcopter itself has LEDs, as you can see here on every leg of the quadcopter. And this quadcopter is foldable into a 13 centimeter uh, folded quadcopter. To fold the quadcopter itself, you have to press these plastic buttons. If you don't do so, you will break your quadcopter. As you can see now, I am basically folding the quadcopter by first we have to fold these guys and then this one and then the same thing on the other side. And now we have a fully folded quadcopter. This took around 10 seconds. This guy, as you can see it right now, goes back into the box, fully assembled. So uh, you don't have to take out the props. This is a neat thing and everything goes back into the quadcopter box like so. So I really like it and I really like to have a, a quadcopter that goes back into the box so we can enjoy uh, the quadcopter for a long time without any dust gathering and we can basically maneuver and take it outside without it breaking. This is the quadcopter with the remote which is also interesting and one thing I like is usually you see that we get the remote with an extended part that you need to install every time to get your phone inside. So this time we don't have that. We have this gadget from the Atop company. You just put your phone, when you're finished, you close this and that's it. That's an interesting thing, interesting addition in this quadcopter. Other things we got was, was uh, is this uh, two extra propellers from what I can see here. Maybe we got some more. No, two extra propellers and uh, USB charging uh, for this proprietary battery as you can see here. So you do need to get more batteries if you want to fly this guy for more than one flight. Let's talk about the remote. We do get labels. This is a video record and a photo record and we did get an English manual. This is a fully English, fully, full English manual. So I hope we get everything uh, we need on the other buttons which are not textually labeled. This is a speed change button. This is a headless mode button. Usually this is a flip button. This time it's headless. I think this is going to be a um, auto land button and auto launch button and also we get lots of other buttons this looks like trim buttons and these other two I'll have to look in the remote in the uh, in the manual over here because if we have a headless if we have a headless button over here I don't know what this guy is so I have to check it out maybe it's a flip this looks like an on off switch by the way so all in all this is the battery bay I still have to open it and see what type of battery is inside I think this is a triple A from the side from the size of this uh, bay. So I really want to say one thing about the quadcopter itself. As I said, two megapixel quadcopter camera is good enough for uh, any toy quadcopter. From my experience, this is also an altitude hold quadcopter. This means that it will be very easy to fly. If you have questions about this quadcopter, put me, put them down in the description below. I, uh, in the comments below, I try to help you, help you out. Other thing I want to say about this quadcopter is the plastic quality. This is a very high plastic quality. Uh, I review a lot of plastic toys, believe me, but this type of plastic is really rare and I really like what ATOP has done with this quadcopter. So all in all, really good product. Check the description below for a link to find more information about it. I'm going to go out for a flight right now. Press the like button if you haven't pressed it already and subscribe to the channel if you are new here. We are doing lots of gadget reviews and you want to be a part of this uh, channel, believe me. I'm Otto Dylan. I'm going to see you on the next video. Let's go out for a flight. Okay, so here we are flying. This uh, guy just... Uh, <laughs> started its engines and we do have high winds right now which will force me to change to speed level 3 
and I'm actually gonna shift my position so the sun will not blow us doing this video but I'm also hearing the this music which comes from the app uh, of the quadcopter which I guess I will have to turn down so uh, you guys can hear what I'm saying so as you can see the quadcopter flies well we do have a shift to the left I'm going to fix that using the trim buttons which I guess I already changed that's why we are seeing this uh, shift and this is an altitude hold quadcopter you are seeing now the altitude hold functionality and I think it's doing really well it's doing a really good job let's take a <laughs> let's just see the quadcopter from all directions and all in all doing really well as you can see I'm actually using one of the thumbsticks the one that moves the quadcopter uh, to whichever direction I want and I'm not touching the altitude uh, stick or gimbal if I'm using it obviously you will see the quadcopter go up or down and as always you have more information about this quadcopter in the description of this video we are also seeing a video going on here which is called uh, I think the name of this mode is fly mode and you have two modes you have PVE and fly mode and the difference between them is in one of them you are actually able to play and shoot uh, enemies and that's I guess the other option we will see that also um, to do a flip which is one of the things you have on these quadcopters these uh, toy quadcopters you have to press this right gimbal and I guess many people will not know about that because this is not a regular button like you have in the remote um, labeling for all the buttons this one is not labeled we can change speeds which is what I did when I started this video by using this uh, button over here this shoulder button and we have two other buttons to record video or photo and actually this one will affect your app so for the first time we are seeing connectivity between the remote control and an app on a toy quadcopter and I just uh, started recording and stopped recording from uh, the quadcopter's uh, Wi-Fi connection I'm seeing a very good Wi-Fi connection with the quadcopter no loss of uh, controls over about 20 meters over there so I'm very happy with what I'm seeing in terms of Wi-Fi connection um, other than that we have a headless mode feature I'm gonna also test that out and right now I am in headless mode and as you can see even if I turn the quadcopter I'm still flying right when the camera is pointing to the other direction and this time the camera is actually pointing uh, 180 degrees to me uh, in this case I can use the controls on my remote to take photos or videos and this is just amazing because you don't have to touch any uh, any screen or something and it's very easy um, I actually like that a lot so I'm actually seeing a delay in video that's something that I must mention uh, I think you are seeing that also so that's making most of the video to be non-usable in real time this is something you should know okay so after seeing headless mode and trimming and calibration which I didn't uh, I didn't actually show you on the video I'm sorry but it's this button uh, we have seen everything that this quadcopter has to offer like any toy quadcopter flips is the high point um, we are going to land this and actually launch the quadcopter again and this time what I'm going to do is launch it in a different mode I'm going to use the delays of about we are seeing a big delay here I think it's about five or ten seconds maybe even more so that's totally not usable in terms of live video this is something you should know um, I just I'm just gonna I stopped recording I guess but whatever I'm just gonna go back to the menu and when you're using the other flight mode um, you you don't want to use the controller itself the physical controller the thing is um, when using the physical controller with the PVE mode you will have difficulties to actually control both because you are shooting the enemies actually pressing the screen so what I'm doing now is restarting the quadcopter and just using the uh, my uh, phone to connect to the quadcopter's Wi-Fi um, you don't want to use the remote control for the PVE mode this is something that is very important and I also give you another tip um, I hope this is gonna work usually I have to actually yeah I'm seeing now I'm actually seeing this is so funny 
I'm still seeing the video from the other flight. So yeah, I'm gonna switch that off and just quit the app. In this mode, you actually have to control the quadcopter while playing the game, and this is a uh, this is a bit difficult. Actually, I've tested it out more than once, but I hope in this uh, in this flight we'll be able to manage this. And to shoot your enemies, you have to press the button on the screen. Um, like I mentioned, there is a delay in Wi-Fi uh, connectivity here, so I hope that we will be able to actually play this game. The first thing you want to do is change the speed modes. Uh, from 30% to about 90 or even 100 um, I'm just gonna try that out but for some reason I have to shift to control mode yeah that's it now you can control the speed you have to press on the on off button and that's about it and also you can start a recording of video which for my test did not record these enemies so that's something you should know um, to get started, all I have to do is uh, basically hope this is not going to kill me. Yeah, so we are now up in the air and like I mentioned, we are still having the altitude mode uh, functionality going on. So everything works uh, really well. We still have the enemies and we still have the screen. So you should be able to control this quadcopter even though, as you can see now, I am seeing a, diff a drift from the wind. So this is not something you want to play on a windy day like I am doing right now. Um, the enemies, they usually go in your sight, in your uh, aim, even when you don't aim actually. So you can just press the shoot button millions of times and eventually I guess you're going to shoot something. Um, I rather ha be in a headless mode actually when this happens, but uh, I'm not sure which button that is because in every app they change the buttons. I think that that's the one. So, all in all, I'm already, because I have the sunlight on my face, I can barely see uh, on this specific phone uh, where are the enemies, but I guess that we have shot one of them. Here's one, here was one. Oh my god, I almost lost the quadcopter. So you might want to also keep the quadcopter oriented, because if you lose orientation, Playing this game, this is not a bad, this is not a good idea, and you might want to also fly this <laughs> on an open area like I'm doing right now. Uh, I I think that when you lose health here, which I can't obviously see where the health mark is, the quadcopter will land itself. So this is something you should know uh, because it actually landed on me on uh, one of these uh, fields the other day. So this is something you might want to keep keep tracking of if you don't want to lose the quadcopter um, that's about it all the enemies are these choppers nothing else there's no other than that there's no other enemies on this game so I can't also see if there is a tracking of points from what I'm seeing there's no kind of tracking for how many points you actually have when you are flying this quadcopter game whatever this is but I guess I'm winning because I'm still alive, as you can see. Um, let's bring the quadcopter down low and see if there is uh, labeling for, for this game or something. There's no, I think the quadcopter is still blinking when we are playing the game, so there's no difference here. But I don't know how we are supposed to see, and that's about it. I think the wind has taken the quadcopter away from me. So, yeah. Wi-Fi break. Okay, so we got a Wi-Fi break after the quadcopter landed and I think this is either a battery, a low-level battery uh, descent or something happened with the game, but that's about it. That's the game here. Not much of a game if you ask me. Uh, maybe uh, when you don't have too much sunlight, you can actually enjoy this. But like I mentioned, um, the delay on video for what you get from this quadcopter it's basically making your game uh, impossible. <laughs> so I don't know. I don't think this is a good game. But other than that, this is a good quad, good quadcopter. And like always, uh, in the description of this video, I have more information about it. This is one of the, let's say, most uh, the, one of the, the quadcopters I really wanted to review because the Atop company has produced a lot of quadcopters and they are getting good ratings so I'm very glad we got this guy for a test and 
that's it. I hope I'm going to see you on our next gadget review. I was Auto Deal. Bye bye.